Hi there, my name is Seelbeck, and these are Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And, and Radio Times, Radio Times, bless them. They live in a bizarre, wibbly-wobbly uh, parallel dimension, which... Uh, do I want to go to that dimension? Not really. Listen, I'm going to go to the pa pla uh, parallel dimension. There's so many more I would go to before the Radio Times one. So what is this weird, wobbly uh, 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 parallel dimension they live in? They live in the dimension that Doctor Who, currently Doctor Who, starring Jodie Whittaker uh, with uh, Chris Chibnall as the showrunner, is incredibly popular, that they, uh, they, that the nation uh, uh, embrace them to their hearts, embrace them to, to their bosoms, and, uh, 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 you know, and just love them in the same way they love David Tennant and Matt Smith. Yep. So that's a parallel dimension, because that didn't happen, right? That's a parallel dimension, that didn't happen at all, that never happened, in fact. Uh, uh, you know, like, I, I think the, the exact opposite happened. But they live in this reality where people are really, really excited. I, I mean, generally speaking, not just, you know, if you... Listen, I, I lived in a reality where, where, where nobody liked Doctor Who. It was called the 80s, right? It was the 80s. Quite nice. I kind of enjoyed the 80s. Uh, yeah, maybe because I was young there. Uh, but, yeah, you, but, you know, nobody liked Doctor Who, right? Right, yeah. You, yeah if you wore a, a, you know, a Doctor Who t-shirt in, like, 1987, you might as well just have, like, unshaggable written on your forehead, you know? No, it was anti-Viagra. It was, you know, Doctor Who was not... Po and that's fine. That is fine that it's not popular. Uh, uh, but they, they, they live in this bizarre, ordinary reality where they, they, they just can't deal with that at all. So, you know, they released another article uh, demonstrating how they can't stand reality. And, and honestly, people would say, what people ask me, at least, is she, that's not true. No one's ever asked me this. No one's ever asked me this. I'm surprised no one's ever asked me this. Uh, but they say, well, yeah, they would have said, if, if I think, yeah, sanity would prevail. Say, so, Svee, Svee, why do you keep making articles uh, uh, taking the piss so, uh, you know, out of the current... Uh, 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 current era Doctor Who and, and, and all the stupid things that people have supported say why do you keep doing it uh, uh, quite simple because they keep saying stupid and the stupid stuff and they really Radio Times really wants to create the narrative that this Doctor is incredibly uh, incredibly successful they want to create that nar narrative so they're hoping that will become reality it's not it's not because the bottom line is you know again if you like this Doctor God bless you I'm so I'm so happy that you're getting enjoyment out of it because I'm really not uh, you know, but yeah, if yeah, if yeah, the world, yeah, they can spin things as much as they want. They can pretend it's uh, successful, and I norm is they have no idea, you know, how much uh, uh, is disliked with, with, within the fan audience. They just know when they see it, it's kind of boring, and they'd r rather watch something else, like anything else whatsoever. Because on top, yeah, on top of everything, it's just not very good. It's just not very good. Uh, uh, yeah, so normies don't understand how much uh, uh, you know is deeply disliked. Uh, uh, so they, they keep putting out articles like that. So I keep in my own teeny tiny way, and I recommend everybody else out there to do the same thing. Start a YouTube channel. I'll go on social media. Don't, go, don't bother going on Facebook because if you put, you know, they, there's a very strong bias about the people, the people running most Doctor Who. Uh, I would say Facebook groups are they very, you know, they always get upset when you say anything, you know, criticizing a, you know, Jodie Whittaker, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, story. And then you know, you go and look at their timelines. You're like, what, what, what's up with them? What's up? And it's always like this political insanity. Every other post is like, uh, like, uh, every, you know, the president of the United States is bad. The the government in England is bad. Bad. Everything's bad, 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 bad. Everybody who loses election, they're all good. They're all good. Guys. And they're just obsessed, obsessed. It's always the same. It's always the same. And for some reason, well, not for some reason, but they, they do like this Doctor Who a lot. Fine, so we're going to be looking at another uh, 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 expression of their insanity very shortly. But can I ask you guys, four minutes in, four minutes in, I haven't even asked you to subscribe yet. Can you hit that subscribe button? That would be fan dabby double dozy. And I generally mean that. It would be absolutely fan dabby double dozy. Uh, if you subscribe, you can enter any of my... Uh, my on ongoing competitions. I'm giving the prize away tonight. I'm supposed to give it on Sunday, but schmuck that I am, and I don't know if schmucks are going to get me de demonetized. Maybe they don't know what that means in YouTube. But schmuck that I am. I uh, I did uh, I did three streams on Sunday, right? <laughs> I, did, I recorded a uh, uh, like a podcast uh, uh, walk drive with uh, with Dan Hadley talking about Star Trek. A lot of fun. I think it comes out tom today tomorrow. But yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, then I had this idea. I was going to do. I did a quick chill stream. My best video ever. Go and check that out. I think that was my best video ever. Uh, but then again, you know, you know, 
I can see people just screaming. Uh, and then I finally I did the TARDIS zone, which is when I was supposed to do the giveaway. I was just too tired. I was like, oh God, just let me go to sleep. Fine. So the price is this. Judge Dredd, hardback graphic novel, America. You can win this tonight when I do my live stream at five o'clock UK time. Please be there. Um... I, uh, uh, yeah, fly through, uh, it's, uh, all you need to do to win it is subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I had a bit of a brain fart there. Subscribe to the channel. And then in the comments, leave the hashtag democracy now, democracy now. This has been a very popular, uh, uh, prize. I'm doing another comic booky prize, uh, which I'll announce tonight. And it's, it's a good, I also like it's a bundle of stuff. And I really like this. I always like my stuff. <laughs> I always like, oh, this is great. Yeah, so I'm going to be giving away tonight. Uh, uh, and uh, good luck, good luck if you enter. Uh, and people are telling me the, the download link I, I have in the in the video notes for the Sapphire Still Story isn't working. I don't understand. It's working for me. Uh, uh, look, if you, uh, send me an email, lebeckin at, uh, at gmail.com, and I will, uh, uh, it's in the video notes as well, my, my uh, and I will just send you the direct link, okay? I'll just say, I'll upload to my Google Drive and send you the link. There we go, we'll do that. If you want it, that's what I'll do. Fine, let's talk about this article. This article from the Wibbly Wobbly Parallel Dimension that Hugh Fullerton, Hugh Fullerton, the, the shilly of the shills, who, uh, who, uh, who uh, you know, carries water quite a lot for this production team. Uh, 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 let's see, let's see what, what's going on in, in his uh, strange universe today. So the headline is, is there a secret message in Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who? No, is there a secret message hidden in Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who episodes? Um, well, there's an overt message that is, we hate you. We absolutely hate you if you don't share our ideology uh, or politics. We hate you. If you're somebody who wants uh, secure borders, you're a terrible person. That is the message they give you. If you're somebody who feels that for, you know, the, you know who likes to adhere to the science, <laughs> adhere to that pesky science that says, uh, you know, vast majority of human beings throughout the history of our species, uh, you know, their uh, their gender and uh, and all their sexuality isn't fluid. In fact, it's a very core cornerstone part of one's uh, uh, identity. If you're one of those people, they hate you. That is the not so subtle message, uh, uh, you know, that they, 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 that they want you to, to, uh, to adhere to and listen to. Uh, is there another one? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. Let's read this article. Fans have noticed, what, well, both of them, uh, a strange repeating phrase in the, la in, in the latest seasons of BBC of the BBC sci-fi drama. So listen, yeah, Chibnall could Chibnall knows uh, uh, yeah the boxes to tick. I mean, to, obviously knows the boxes to tick in terms of casting and and hiring. It's like, uh, uh, can you do the job? Uh, let's put that as question number seven. Question number one is, well, what skin color are you? What uh, what gender are you? Uh, are you? Where are you on the progressive track? Yeah, those are, those are sort of questions. Like like us. But the the other thing, he likes to tick boxes. So he know, he saw that the Cybermen did well in a season finale. He said, yeah, let's bring them back. And listen. Uh, hats off to him, the, or not to him, really, the design team. Those Cybermen, my favourite Cybermen design ever. Utterly wasted. I even quite like the weird, like, arm thing controls to the Cyber ships. So, yeah, I even like that. I thought, oh, that's kind of, that felt kind of cool. Um, but so far, yeah, okay, 100%. Uh, 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 yeah, so he saw, saw that Cybermen did well. Yeah, big revelations about the Doctor's past. Like, they, you know, putting in one hidden reg re regeneration was uh, was really well received. So I'm gonna do that again, but this time I'm gonna times it by a billion. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> so, so you know, uh, so he knows that like putting in like hidden messages, like again, the uh, Rusty Davis was, was was really great. At that like uh, Bad Wolf in, in series one and Torchwood in series two. You know, he, he was he was extremely good. You know, at uh, at put, putting in those. Uh, uh, those like yeah, recurring theme hidden messages. So maybe that's a box that he ticks. So maybe maybe he did. Let's see. Oh, Hugh Fuller, and I love seeing your name. I was going to actually read the article about uh, uh, Crystal Eccleston's uh, return to uh, to Doctor Who, but there's absolutely nothing there. There's there's nothing there to comment. I will read it on my live streams. Like probably it's kind of boring, but I will read it on on, on the live streams. Like but there's nothing there at all. Uh, so but then then Hugh bless him bless him came out with this nonsense. I'm like oh you love you baby love you to bits. Uh, uh, let, let let let's have a read. It's fair to say the recent season of Doctor Who has had some intriguing hidden intriguing hidden arcs. Uh, no. 
No, 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 no. I think it's fair to say the 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 the, the recent seasons of Doctor Who have been utter failures. I mean, again, yeah. What does an utter? Well, let me qualify that because again, I did this video yesterday about these crazy people on Twitter who were uh, who who were like so there was a radio show and somebody said, oh yeah, Doctor Who's crap now, and they're, and they're, they're all the people on Twitter were like, hey, excuse me, citation needed. Can you, what does you mean? What do you, yeah, it, it means it does. It means it's not very good. It means he doesn't enjoy it. So this, uh, I mean, is this one? Is this the uh, here? Let me just pull up this chart. Uh, it is over here. Doink. Uh, well, well, that's a bit, bit I, I've got to shrink it down a touch. There you go. There you go. I, I, I will this out a lot, but yeah, this is what failure looks like. This is, this is a physical yeah, expression of failure. Uh, the, the purple line is, of course, uh, 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 the Jody, uh, uh, the Jody era. Uh, season 12 and the blue line is uh, Capaldi's final year which was his lowest rated one ever and we'll see his lowest rated thing isn't isn't anywhere near as low as lowest rated as Jodie uh, that little spike you see uh, is uh, Prisoner Jadoon or should I say Captain Jack returning okay that, that's all it it's not popular uh, yeah again again a Doctor Who t-shirt in 1987 Basically said, uneffable, right? You know, you are you are not getting into anybody's bed with a Doctor Who shirt on. You know, I, you know, I, I, I guess without paying for it first. That, that yeah, I, my my money does uh, uh, you know does answer many uh, <laughs> does, does deal with, 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 with many issues like that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not popular, but nobody's watching. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the hidden art. You know. The real tragedy of the BBC right now, the real tragedy of the BBC, they really want to be uh, social I I influencers, right? They really want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, they, they, I mean, honestly, look, most of the biggest mistakes people make in life come from, uh, you know, a desire to do good, I believe. And I think it's right, a genuine desire, you know, they, uh, they'll uh, make sure people are represented and feel, you know, comfortable uh, uh, yeah, but they, but by doing it, they've just done it very, very badly, and it doesn't work. Uh, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, but yeah, that you can't influence that. The point is, you cannot be influential to society if society has rejected you. You know, society has rejected this Doctor Who. No one's in. No one's interested in hidden art. No, no one's watching. No one's watching. Yeah, you, know, you have you have a handful of crazy fans on Twitter. Uh, who, for some reason, you know, they, they, they all make like 20 Twitter accounts, right? So they seem like Legion. It's like 300. I honestly, I think when you really come down to it, it's like that. I was, I would say no more than a thousand of these crazed fans worldwide, okay? I think, I really do. And even that, I think it's kind of highballing. I really do. Uh, but you know what? Oh, if I was a billionaire, if I was a billionaire, you know what I would do? I would really do some uh, some serious polling, some serious metrics, because I would be fascinated to know what the metrics really are, right? I, I look, I'm going on my my uh, my prejudice, my, 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 my assumptions. And my assumption is uh, Doctor Who fandom is about 20% rabid uh, fan of the new season. Um, maybe 15 and like double that hate it and they were in the middle just wants us to shut up the two's like just shut up and make Doctor Who watchable um it's funny it has, uh, has some intriguing answers of fans pondering the truth of the timeless church child I'm not again timeless child that just it may it decanalize this here of Doctor Who I am uh, I've made my own uh, version of Twice Upon a Time where Capaldi starts to regenerate, face the white, and cuts to a TARDIS in space. Uh, end titles. Yeah, and then maybe when Doctor Who comes back, if it ever comes back, I'll I'll re-edit it. So this, I'm just cauterizing this entire era from Doctor Who because that's what you just got to do, I reckon. Uh, the Fugitive Doctor. Uh, God, if some thought was put into it, I think it would have been better. I, I you know, I just... I have zero confidence. <laughs> it's like zero. Like I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't express uh, uh, how little confidence I have that they will be able to deliver this. Uh, you know, uh, uh, deliver the answers to that if they do in any way, shape, or form. And the lone side man. Lone side man is so. Uh, uh, um, you know. Uh, also, we're not expressive. It's so, it, it, it's 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 such a uh, uh, so representative of season eleven and twelve. Like. Oh, good idea. Interesting character. Well cast. Well designed. Well played. Zero point. Zero point. Zero thought. Right? I, I, oh, jeez. You know, so frustrating. So yeah, yeah. No, it, 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 this wasn't intriguing. It was just like what? 
Oh, oh okay. I, uh, uh, and, and of course, uh, uh, over the course of various episodes, fine. Uh, there have been others, uh, but has there been another secret trend we haven't noticed? Again, I noticed how much this Doctor Who hates you. Absolutely hates you if you don't share its politics. It hates you. Um, has been noticed? I've noticed that. I don't think you've noticed that because you share its politics. So you go, well, obviously, obviously, you should be hated if you if you have mainstream normal right, you know, uh, yeah, uh, uh, a political outlet. Obviously, you should be hated if you're not a political extremist or an ideological extremist like me. We should hate you because they're heretics. They're heretics. Hate. Yeah, quoting uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 in Cheston, a dislike of the unlike. That is so, uh, such a, uh, a, a wonderful way of describing just about every one of these uh, Jodie fans I've ever inter interacted with. They hate you, uh, uh, if you if you're if you not like that. And by the way, the, convert, the, the inverse isn't true. They really believe that people like me hate them for loving this Doctor Who. No, no, enjoy it, mate. I just hate this Doctor Who. I don't hate you for it. And I, and I uh, you know, I think uh, Christian was done a terrible job. I think he's a terrible person, right? I think he's actually a bad person uh, because, uh, you know, because he's the, because, you know, I think that's a whole different video, right? Um, I don't think he's an intentionally bad person. I just think he's weak and pathetic. And I think most uh, evil you know, comes from people being weak and pathetic, right? I think most evil uh, comes from people like standing by and going, yeah, I'm not getting involved. Or, 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 or yeah, just be, just, again, just be weak and pathetic, which I think is the the, cent the center of, of all you, and also arrogant and stupid, and l lives lives in in, uh, in in a bubble and doesn't, uh, it doesn't understand why the rest of the world doesn't really quite uh, uh, hook onto his stunning and brave vision of Doctor Who. Uh, but he thinks we're the problem. That's for sure. He thinks we're the problem. Not, not him. Oh no, no, no. We're the problem because we're we, we, we're not getting it. But there's been another secret trend we haven't noticed. That's what we're wondering today. After some Whovians noticed a strange phrase appearing uh, in two very different episodes of Doctor Who from Jodie Whittaker, uh, Doctor Whittaker, Time in the Tardis, potentially connecting both stories, assuming it wasn't just a coincidence. I think honestly. I think Christian was like, well, I used that line before. I'll use it again. Save me from writing another. He just doesn't seem to have much joy in his work. You know, that that's really my my impression of Christian. He really just doesn't seem to be enjoying his work. Russell T. Davis was just like exploding with like with joy every second. That that's why his promotion of Doctor Who was so good because it was so genuine. He just loved it. He loved every minute of work. See, how much did he love it? He did 13 episodes a year, plus Sarah Jane, plus talk, talk to it. When you love something, you can't stop doing it, right? That, and that's really the truth. Uh, and I just don't think he likes it. I don't think that's, it. that's why I think he squeezes out 10 episodes every 18 months. Um, if we're lucky, if you're lucky, or I'm like, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's an old Jewish joke, uh, which really reminds me of Chris Chibble's time in Doctor Who, you know, you have two old Jews sitting at, yeah, sitting at a, a deli, by the way, if you want to have good Jewish deli food, uh, and you're in America, I recommend Essex and Coney, um, in, in, in Brooklyn, I know, I haven't actually, um, let me think. I used to go to Blooms. Yeah, I knew that if you're ever, ever in Golders Green, go to Golders Green. You'll find, you'll find some dewy food there. You are, in, Amer in England, it's called salt beef. In America, it's called corned beef. Essentially the same thing. English one's a bit better. A bit better. I just, this is a bit my side. A good salt beef, you want it thick and fatty, right? That's, how, that's what a good salt beef sandwich uh, tastes like on rye. Thick and fatty. Great for a sandwich. Terrible for a date, but great for a sandwich. Fine. The first example comes in the 2018's acclaimed episode, Demon. Who's, who's acclaiming that, that piece of crap? Demons of the Punjab? Oh my god. A ball fest. We're, we're, what a shock. The aliens weren't, alien, weren't doing anything evil. And we just stood by, stood by and watched. Uh, 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 you know, social injustice. Oh no! At the hands of the evil white patriarchy. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, specifically, when Brian Groom Prem, uh, Shane Sazer is losing a game of cards to Graham Bradley Walsh, uh, uh, Bradley Walsh Ryan, and his brother. Uh, was it? You, you, uh, you know what they say though, Prem. Uh, Graham quits. Unlucky car. Unlucky. Unlucky at cards. Lucky in love. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. Uh, I, I, honestly, now I'm reading this, it's just, it's fan wankery, okay? This article exists to give the impression that people, 
uh, 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 like this era of Doctor Who. But they don't! <laughs> okay, no, okay, let me qualify. Of course there are some people. There are some people, but if I, it, it just... It's not David Tennant. This is not water cooler stuff. You know, what, you know, it's not... People aren't interested. It's boring. Again, and if you like it, that is super cool. That is super cool that you like it. I, I, I'm great. I'm 100%. Uh, uh, but it's not popular. Stop deluding yourself that anybody cares. Because they don't. Um, was it Philly? Uh, or was it uh, uh, Innocuous Banter? Uh, moved on from quickly. Or was it? Uh, because over, for over a year later... And again, it was over a year later because they can't make any episodes as, as quickly as they used to because they're lazy. Yeah, I, I had this other whole Facebook debate with uh, this kid. Nice kid, smart kid, I have to tell you. Uh, uh, but he was like, well, you know, you've got to worry about their mental health. No, God. Gee, the bloody... And really? Really? No. No, no, no. You've got to worry about paying them. And if they can take the if they can take on the job, they'll do the job, right? It's a highly competitive industry, TV. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. You know, there's, there's a lot of other ways to, to make money, right? You don't have to, you have to do it. It's a highly competitive in, uh, uh, industry. And, you, and again, Doctor Who back in 2005, people worked late nights. People went the extra mile. People were happy to do it because they knew they were doing something they loved and they, it was great. That's why it's really the bottom line of why I think it's different here. Uh, okay, if anyone wants to banter, because over a year later, a very different adventure, uh, you know, another character says something eerily similar. Yeah, okay, come on. This is just Chibnall cribbing the line. Uh, specifically, he didn't cross up, cross up again. Slightly reversed in 2020 Spyfall Part 1. Was well, Spyfall Part 1 the best episode of that season? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the chart now. I'm going. This Spyfall Wild was better than two. Oh, Wolf and Fifty Five was terrible. Nikolai Tesla's Night of Terror was bore fest. Fusion of the Jadoon, uh, yeah, it's about on the same level as Spyfall. I mean, nothing good. I'm never going to rewatch them. Can you hear me? An embarrassment. Praxis, an embarrassment. Hoarding of Villa uh, Dil and uh, a boring embarrassment. Essential the Cybermen, uh, good, good Cybermen design. <laughs> and the Timeless Children, let's kill Doctor Who. Which is basically what it did. It, oh my God, so many people have switched off at that point. Uh, I really, I really can't wait to see. You know, if they do another ten episode season, what the ratings will be, right? I reckon they'll start at about mid fives if they're lucky, low fives, and end up in the threes if they're lucky. And that's consolidated. That's like you. I mean, overnights will start off in like fours, and then it'll drop down to the twos. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> that's what I think. Uh, but I don't think we're going to know to uh, was it twenty twenty two is my guess. Uh, specifically, the Eden cross up again in the slight reverse where uh, Sasha the One's master. Oh, another good thing. Again, I want to praise everything about the current era. Sasha the One, terrible writing, uh, very over the top, but he was so happy to uh, play the role. Uh, so I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm lucky. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put him down as something I liked about the season. <coughs> and I'm grasping at straws because I just want to be nice. I really, I really want to be nice. Uh, currently, this guy is a, as MI5 operative O tries his luck at the uh, at, um, at casino party alongside Yaz Mandy Gill. God, what a boring character. Mandy Gill is just such a boring character. It's going to be her and it's going to be Jody in the TARDIS of season 30. Oh my God. Really, it's going to be a, you know, a boring lecturing uh, a doofus. Who I think that's how a fair way to describe the, the uh, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor, uh, and and like this blank slate of a non-person, Yaz, who's the bestest ever. Yeah, You're, they actually posted uh, on uh, on social media say the official B the official Doctor Who, the the Graham speech saying how great Yaz is. They actually posted that as if they're proud of it. Really. God, I mean, honestly, it's like somebody take, take, takes a dump, right? They take a rip and they go, oh, that's a thing of beauty. That's a thing of beauty. They reach into the toilet and they pick it up. Oh, I'm going to keep that one. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely thing of beauty. Boom. Let me put let me put, put it in a, in a in a loose like box, right? You seal it loose like, so I can hang on my wall forever so everybody can see how wonderful my dump was. And then I'm going to show it, share it on social media. That is akin to the... That is the I would say it's the worst speech ever, but it's from the same season that had the socially awkward line. I, oh, if it been socially awkward, then you're not a bloody hero then. If yes, I, I, I digress. I digress. Um, okay, currently uh, discussing. Uh, uh, you know what they say: uh, lucky at dice, unlucky in love. This is no. This is no secret, bloody me. Honestly, are you telling me that they they seeded this normative line in across? Was it? 
18 months worth two episodes, two episodes of uh, over, over 18 months. Who the hell is going to notice or care? Bad Wolf is a weird, uh, weird expression, which they somehow uh, got into to, to, to every episode in episode one. Oh, I think this looks like a Bad Wolf situation. A bad Wolf. Bad, bad, even on the side of the uh, of the Bond Captain Jack was off. He said, Bad Wolf in German. Yeah, exactly. That's how you see something. If they are seizing this, uh, 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 you know, seizing on, on this, uh, uh, it, <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, do they say that, Jess asks? No, Dewan replies. Uh, okay. So then, uh, uh, this person on Twitter goes, goes, M I Jody Bot. Uh, no, M slash Jody Bot. Okay, fine. Listen, I'm glad you're owning it, darling. Glad you're owning it. Do you have the Okay, fine. This, that's so weird. Okay, it's not. It's not. Now, of course, it's possible the uh, reputation of the phrase is a mere coincidence. It's not possible. It's highly probable. Showrunner Chris uh, Chimmel absentmindedly is starting is uh, setting a similar gag. He didn't write Demons of Punjab. He got so what's the name in Vijay? Yeah, oh, yeah. Because you know, God forbid that 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 if you're a white male, you will write about something historically that happened to something who wasn't white. Uh, yeah, white male. Oh no. Oh no. You can't do that. That's uh, insensitive. Um, Inserting a similar gag in two episodes, but considering Demons of Punjab was uh, uh, primarily run by oh yeah Vinay Patel, uh, this is an entirely convincing explanation. Yeah, no, both of them have similar. It's again none of that. Yeah, that is none of this is, is, is out of the ordinary. Uh, and look, Chibnall steals from everything. He steals from everywhere because he's creatively bankrupt, in my opinion. Uh, and so I'm sure he stole from Vinay P Patel. Why not? Like, why wouldn't he? Like, why would he steal from everybody and not the guy he's actually paying who can't who can't say anything about it? Uh, so what's the answer here? If Graham had repeated the phrase himself more than once, that would barely be worth a mention. This is barely worth a mention. Uh, clearly, just an expression the character is fond of. He, uh, he, uh, even if uh, one or the other kind of said, uh, said it, they might have picked up on it from the former bus driver. But given the master's unli uh, unlikely to have picked up the phrase from hanging out with Graham, yeah, it, it doesn't sound like you know, an, an unusual expression. Uh, we have to wonder, uh, were, uh, were we supposed to pick up on something, some special signal? No, no. Okay, two answers. Either no, and you're being crazy, or yes, and that's insanely bad writing. You could choose. You go for either one of the two boxes. You know, I'll I'll take I'll take either. I think probably the answer is no. Um, could these uh, could these hints at luck and uh, bad luck be leading to something? Yeah. Well, bad luck. The ratings. The ratings. Yeah. Let's just look at the bad luck of the ratings. Just one more time. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like a bit of bad luck to me. A little bit. Bad. By the way. By the way. And if you can even compare it to the classic ratings, from what I could tell. Where is this over here? So this is the Wikipedia page for Battlefield, the lowest rated uh, classic story, I believe, right? So the overnights for that is 3.1, 3.9, 3.6, 4.0, right? So uh, 3.1, 3.6, okay, so, and hit, look at it, just apples to apples. Let's compare the overnights to Jody. Uh, so her lowest was uh, 3.71, 3.71. So there's, as far as I can tell, I mean, yeah, I might be, you might be saying it. There are uh, uh, two episodes in the last 57 years. <laughs> That's really bad. Two episodes in the last 57 years that were less popular, right? And these were uh, uh, on uh, shoved up against Coronation Street. Uh, I had no promotion and was hated by the BBC and shot, you know, on a budget of like 20p. You know, and, 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 and only two of them ever got worse ratings than 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 this you know big budget show that they you know they, they, they that's just an embarrassment. It's just an embarrassment. Um, fine. So could these things uh, like I be saying uh, is some uh, is some new foe or future disaster being uh, being teased? Who cares? Again, this whole era of Doctor Who, I've cauterized it. I've cauterized it, and I'm it's the it's not it, it's separated from me from Doctor Who until Doctor Who does return. And if it returns and there's some kind of re and it's good and it's some kind of regeneration scene from Jodie, I'm editing it out as well. This era will never happen, right? This is this is in my head canon, and that's basically. And I don't think I'm going to be the only one. I don't think I'm going to be the only one here. Uh, for now, it has to remain a mystery. Who cares? We're months we're months away from another episode. Yeah, no, we're over a year at best. In the, I mean, other than Revolution of Daleks, right? Uh, but best case scenario, 
Best case scenario, we are, uh, what, 18 months away? But <laughs> was it August now? Uh, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, I'd say we're 17 months away uh, from another episode other than Revolution of the Daleks, which Jodie Whittaker, in a disdain for Doctor Who, couldn't even get that right. She said, the next, the next episode's called Revolution of the Dalek? Ooh, I feel a bit socially awkward. Ah, uh, yeah, you should bloody do, darling. You're, you, you're, you're, you're a disgrace. Yeah, honestly, she's an utter disgrace to women. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Yeah, you're not just a disgrace to a TV. You're a disgrace to women. Yeah, that, that's half the planet. That's half the planet. Um, yeah, not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, uh, but from here on out, we'll definitely be trying to work out uh, for any quips about card games. Dice or other, uh, other games a chance. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky. And this dross will be cancelled. This dross will be cancelled and forgotten about and we'll again and again. If you like it, mwah, God bless you. I'm glad you're liking it. These are all opinion statements other than this, uh, which is a statement of fact. <laughs> uh, when I say it's not popular, it's not popular. Okay, that's not an opinion statement. Opinion, opinion statement is I can't stand this Doctor Who. Okay, that's the difference. I, you know, I hope, you know, I, I, I hope that's easy for you guys all to work out. My name is Sheila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Well, yeah, not too many. I've got like 50 comments I need to. I do try and answer every one of you who, who comments because, honestly, you go, to, you go to trouble comment on a video of mine. I'm really, you know what I said? I'm genuinely appreciative that, uh, 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 yeah, people subscribe. I really am. Yeah, if you go to trouble to comment, I will endeavor to reply. It might take a day or two. Although, I'm getting, it's getting a bit much now. I'm telling you, now, now my, my subscribers getting up there. I don't know how much longer I, I, I can keep doing it. I want to keep doing it, though, because I, I kind of like the interaction. Fine! My name is Peter Beckett, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!